You know, friends, I had a plan for today's video. I had some ideas of what I was going to do. And then I ran across this article that just proves to me how strange and weird and just outright crazy the world can be sometimes. Burger King in Austria is doing something interesting. So instead of following through with my plan for today, I'm going to go ahead and dig into this article a little bit because, you know, there's there's supporting things and then there's just being stupid and going too far. And I kind of think that's where we're at here. So let's go ahead and dig into this, shall we? If you are visually gifted on YouTube or Rumble, check it out on your screen right now. Uh, this from the Daily Wire, but it's not just the Daily Wire that's reporting this. You can find it on CNN and all sorts of different places. Burger King debuts Pride Whopper with two top or two bottom buns. So let's read, shall we? Burger King Austria is celebrating Pride Month by introducing the Pride Whopper, a hamburger that comes with either two top or two bottom buns. The new item uses meal time to promote equal love and equal rights, a translation of the fast food chain's Austrian website said. Quote, we are setting an example for individuality and freedom and stand for a respectful interaction with each other, the website translation says. Equal rights, empathy, understanding, no matter where you come from, no matter who you love, no matter what you look like or what you believe in, time to be proud. And if you are looking on your screen, if you are visually gifted, this was from a tweet where this is the uh, the graphic that they put out, Burger King in Australia. Try, time to be proud, it says on the top. Pride Whopper with the E done in the pride flag at the bottom. And there it is, two Whoppers, one with two top buns and one with two bottom buns. The article continues, the burger features two top halves or two bottom halves. We, we know this already. Reaction on social media wasn't entirely favorable, even from the LGBT community. On the company's Instagram page, one user wrote, some straight people came up with this and thought it was a great idea. That's probably what happened. Uh, one day into Pride Month and I'm already exhausted. Another said, somebody else said, this is a joke, right? And then the article points on that last year they donated 40 cents from every purpose of the Chiking sandwich. Uh, and sold, and they donated that to the Human Rights Campaign, which is an LGBT advocacy group. Um, just an aside, Burger King needs to work on their naming, Chiking. I never understood that one. Uh, and then they talk about how they kind of called out Chick-fil-A during the uh, Pride Month last year for its more Christian values. Uh, and then this was interesting, too. I hadn't seen this one at the time. But the Pride Whoppers reminiscent of a viral Royal Dutch Airlines ad from 2017. The company put out pictures of multiple seatbelt combinations, including two female ends and two male ends, and said it doesn't matter who you click with. But then critics pointed out how the combinations literally would not click. Which is true. All right, straight away, first off. I don't give a shit who anybody chooses to love. I really don't. Okay. There are gay and lesbian people in our family. I don't care. I don't think the vast majority of people cares. You know, Dave Rubin tells a story about how when he met President Trump for the first time, he was friends with Don Jr. And Don Jr. invited him for dinner at Mar-a-Lago. And that's when he got to meet, meet President Trump. And Trump took him aside and then he said to him, you know what, Dave, nobody gives a shit anymore. And what he was talking about was the fact that Dave was gay and who he chose to love and all that. He didn't care. Nobody cares. I mean, well, okay, you can make the argument. Yeah, there's some people that care. Okay. But the vast, vast majority of people, okay, it doesn't matter to us. It really doesn't. You know, Beth and I, my wife, we went to uh, to see Dave Rubin a few weeks ago. He was here in the Phoenix area. And I remarked to her, I said, isn't it interesting 
that we're sitting in a room full of right-leaning, mostly rednecks. There was more cowboy hats in there that I could count to see a gay guy perform. It's true. Nobody cared. But this stuff continues to be shoved down our throat, and these corporations continue to virtual signal. And this is a very easy way for us to to make us start caring again, to be quite honest with you. When you continue to push and push and push for something that at least in this country doesn't need to be, be pushed on so heavy anymore. We get it, okay? There are gay and lesbian and everything else out there. We understand that. And as long as you go live your life and let us live ours, nobody cares, all right? Now, if you want to talk about some of the Middle Eastern countries and stuff like that, where it is a crime to be gay, where you can be killed for being gay, let's have that discussion. But stop pushing on America like we're some kind of evil or something. Now, I realize this was Burger King in Austria that's doing this, but it sparked the conversation here in the United States as to why. But I got to tell you, just in looking at this thing, I don't understand why Burger King chose to go this route to show their their quote unquote pride, except for the fact that maybe they like it that it doesn't cost them anything really. They don't have to make a donation. They don't have to. It's not like they made ra rainbow buns that would have cost them extra. Here they're just using product that they already have in the store and just mixing it up a little bit. So maybe that's why they do it. I don't know. But but in theory, um, you know, are they trying to talk about the sexual or gender preference of the sandwich itself? I mean, I don't know. Is the one with the two top buns a different gender than the one with the two bottom buns? And then it begs the question, well, what if that particular sandwich is gender fluid? Does it get to change its buns halfway through being eaten? into the opposite i don't know it it's weird it doesn't make sense or is it meant to be some kind of a signal for those around you now not to be graphic but uh gay men especially will identify as being a quote top or bottom so if you're eating a whopper in austria with two top buns are you signaling to everybody else that you're a quote top and vice versa if you're eating the other one and is that meant to make some kind of love connection i don't know i'm not i mean i'm being silly but in the same respect i don't know what all this means what's what's the point of it all we get it and nobody cares not in the western world anymore Again, if we want to have these arguments, let's argue it in the countries where they're actually where this is actually criminal behavior. Okay. There there comes a time where it's all just too much. And that's I think where we are now. And it gets it gets beyond the point of silly to the point of stupid. And this whole Burger King thing, thank heavens they're not doing it in the U.S. I don't know why they're doing it in Austria, but it's gone to that stupid point. There's no, there's no logical reason to put out this burger and say, this signifies that we care, does it? Does it really? Does it? How? How does that show anything other than you created an Instagram moment and you virtue signaled that's all that you did and it doesn't cost you a dime to do it so it's not like you're investing in that community or anything you're just virtue signaling i don't know the whole thing was lunacy to me and it's just one example of many i mean i was i pulled up roku the other day to look for something to watch and paramount has turned their logo into a pride flag why is it going to make people want to click into it more? I don't care. I'm just looking for a program I want to, I want to watch. And I'm not going to click on Paramount because, oh, their logo's, a, their logo's a rainbow flag now. I should go there. 
Only if they have something I want to watch. And quite frankly, 99% of what's on Paramount is garbage because it's not quality programming. I don't know. Those are my thoughts on this. I think it's lunacy. I think we need to give up all this virtue signaling because it's gotten to the point of stupid in so many places and it all just needs to stop. Nobody cares. I don't care who people choose to love at this point. Go live your life and let me live mine. But if you keep shoving it down the throats of Americans, they're going to get to a point where it's going to flip back around to where they do care. And then all those advances that have been made to get us to the point where we don't care, they're going to start to be undone. That's my thoughts on it. But I'd love to know your thoughts on it. So please do leave a comment. Do you think that what Burger King in Austria is doing makes any sense? Do you think it's kind of stupid like I do? Let me know your thoughts. Just be respectful with your comments. That is all I ask. And we'll go ahead and leave it there. My name is Dan. This has been the Soul of Wisdom. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And until the next time I see you, thank you for watching.